batteries run dead before I take Christmas decorations down in a few days. This white tree is my favorite, I think, over here. Can you see a little tree? I think I'm gonna leave these well. They have Santa hats on. I was looking over here to see what all was just wintery. Not really so much Christmas, just winter, and I was gonna leave that stuff, but I think I have a lot of Christmas. <laughs> this one can stay. Fresh baked gingerbread. Hot cocoa served daily. The snowman mugs are staying. It snows all winter long. Well, not here, but in other places. <laughs> Sissy and Jonah are going to let the chickens out. It finally stopped raining. Jonah's taking pictures of them. Oh yeah, that's a good picture of the turkey. Gobble, gobble. How many eggs? Five? We have five eggs today. Let the weather warm back up and they'll start giving more eggs. pick up pizza for supper. What happened to the fish? I don't know. I kept asking Titus all day, are you gonna make the fish? Are you gonna make the fish? And at first she was saying yeah, and then the fish never happened, y'all. We are still making our New Year's Eve snacks though. We're gonna make a cheese ball, meat and cheese tray, some of the little cherry filled crescents. Titus already made one of those boxes of those earlier today. Here's the tray you're gonna use, Jonah. You can set it up however you want it. We've got this salami and cheese thing. I think this is all salami. It's just different kinds, yeah and some cheese there. We also have Colby Jack and Pepper Jack cheese that you can get out of the other refrigerator if you wanna put that on here. Oh, I forgot the top. There you go. All right, so Jonah's got the salami and cheese. He's gonna get more cheese. He's got pepperoni, carrots, celery, broccoli, cucumber, and crackers. And whenever he gets all this set up, then we'll bring the lobster dip back out and the cheese ball. But we gotta make the cheese ball first, right? Ooh, we got some pictures here. Oh, I think this is the ducks, and there's some of the chickens. Or no, that's a duck too, that's Rusty and a duck. All right, now you can decorate it and set it up however you want to. If you wanna leave a spot in the middle for the lobster dip, you can, or you can just do this, all this stuff, and then we'll do the lobster dip separate. But it won't work. Oh, I think it's because you're going the wrong way. Go this way. Uh, Jake is also stopping by the store to get ginger ale because I forgot the ginger ale for the punch, and he's gonna get some chips and French onion dip, because we always have chips and French onion dip. And That's the tradition my mama always did on New Year's Eve. There was always punch and chips and dip. Now All it's right. done. Now it's done. Okay, now we're done. All right, there's a bowl for Sissy. You're gonna open up the cream cheese. How is the cheese? It's good. You sure? Yeah. Okay, Jonah's getting that stuff ready. I'm gonna go ahead and wash and slice up the broccoli and cucumbers for him. getting every time you hiccup? Yeah. I don't got the hiccups! Yay! Cause I just got it away and I'm here. Filling back up the celery, y'all. You talking about something that entertains us, Mama? <laughs> right when she mashes the button, we all gather around over here just to watch that air right there go out of that celery. Would you like to do the carrots? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Everybody come here. 
Look at this neatness. That's nice. Look under the broccoli. Down there is some grapes and different things. Look at them grapes. We have extravaganza or whatever they call their supreme. I can't remember. Cheese, buffalo wings, chocolate things, cinnamon things, pepperoni, cheese for Manny. Lunch time. Two packs of lemon lime Kool-Aid. This is Mama's New Year's Eve punch recipe. We're shaking up the pineapple juice. This is a 48 ounce can of pineapple juice. Can you get the sugar for me? We just need about a fourth of a cup. Now we put in the ginger ale. I normally don't use the whole two liter of ginger ale, so I'm leaving about that much in there. This isn't my favorite. I mean, I like this kind, but my favorite ginger ale is Seagram's. That is so good. Tyler's gonna bring the top. As y'all can see, this is a gigantic um, beverage dispenser here. Pretty sure we got it from Aldi, but it's huge. I mean, I don't even know how many gallons this is, but it would, it would hold a good bit. <laughs> Probably three gallons, maybe, three and a half. All right, now we're ready to make the crescent, the cherry filled crescents. These things are really good, everybody. I had to have some people help me eat them others or I was gonna eat them all. <laughs> Okay, that was so good. Got <laughs> my good Christmas present on the pool table right there. Okay. Worth every dollar we spent this year. They're expensive, buddy, but it's it worth it. It was somewhere between $20 uh, or $30. You got people come over, you'd be like, I'm gonna play in the pool? Y'all got a pool table? Shoot, shoot! Get it out of there! Get it out of the coffee table! I got a full tummy! Yeah, you got a full tummy! What do you get my age? Your stomach can stay full. I used that to fill mine up three times a day. Now I don't even have to worry about it for days. Someone is missing. Found him. Reading, what is this one called? The Legend of the Star Runner. He got these books for Christmas. The Timmy Thompson, Solve Them Yourself Picture Mysteries. <laughs> is it good so far? Mm -hmm. Mysterious? Mm -hmm. He told me a little bit about it. The grandpa is missing, right? Don't worry, they'll find him. <laughs> we know they find him because Jonah has already looked into future chapters and we see grandpa sitting right there. Y'all, the time is 11.48. And on this year of 2022, which is about to end in approximately 12 minutes, a miracle has occurred. Titus Moss is still awake. This will be his first year in, I never remember him staying up until midnight on New Year's Eve. So at least 20 years. What do you have it's to say? It's good to be here, everybody. I gotta be honest with you. I've been waiting uh, 20 years for this moment right here. And now we're down to it. 11 minutes. He also just told me that he's thinking about going to bed and I was like, no, it's just a few minutes. Just wait. Tyler is still here. Jacob is still here and something else that has taken us all by surprise. He said he's bringing in this new year, right? Happy New Year! <laughs> We're bringing out the leftover pizza. Leftover pizza's coming out. Jonah, can you believe this? We are not alone this New Year's Eve. Five, four, Everybody. We're getting ready to pick the winner for the New Year giveaway. So I've got the link here for the video where we announced the giveaway. We're gonna go ahead and put that there. Just small for me. Oh, it's, you need it unbuttoned. You trying to put something in it? Yeah. If you unbutton it, then you can reach in there. Woo! Now you can put something in that pocket. And we are ready. So this giveaway was for either one of the Ion coffee mugs right here. Look at that steam. 
or for a French press or for a vacuum, food vacuum sealer or a gift card if you didn't want any of those. So if you are the winner, you get to choose which one you want. Here we go. Nancy David, congratulations, you are the winner. So leave me a comment down below, that way I can get in contact with you about how to get your information and which one of the giveaway items you choose, which it looks like on here you might have said. The vacuum sealer, all right, so just leave me a comment down below, that way I can figure out how to get in touch with you. Thank you to everybody who entered and happy new year, everybody. What are we eating today, Manny? Yeah. Collard greens? Collard greens. Collard greens and black eyed peas. And I go eat cheese. Okay. <laughs> 